kind of... It is? Okay. So how are we doing this week? Good, good, good. Let me ask you something. Have any of you ever... Joan, you can join us down here. It's okay. No big deal. No big deal. Oh, all right. Have any of you ever won like a medal or a trophy for anything? You have, so what would you do? For cheer. For cheer? That's Ra Ra Sist Boomba. Do you cheer in the 1950s? No. Okay. <laughs> Anybody else? Or? Yeah. Let me guess. Football? Yeah, her uh, sportsman's sip. Oh, also, that, that's, a, that's a good award to, to, to earn. It's like, you know, because it's a thrill to like run a race and, you know, and hear the voices of the people who are watching as they shout words of encouragement. It's even a greater thrill when you win a medal or a trophy. Now, see this trophy here? I won this back in 1980 when my Little League team won our championship. It's a little beat up. I've been through a few moves. It's a little beat up. And I've, I've just been so proud of it. I've kept the, this 43 years. I don't know if I missed the math here. It's uh, 43 years. You know, something like Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's, I, I also won a, an all star trophy that got lost throughout the years. But I, this still stays on display at my house in my little room there. So now, several years ago, do you guys know what the Olympics are? Okay, what, what's the Olympics? When you compete against people from different countries. From like different countries. They all, all these athletes from different countries all kind of meet in one place and play a couple hundred different sports or so against each other. They kind of have a little contest to see who's the best. So many years ago, there was a man named Derek Redmond. He was a young man from Britain, and he dreamed his whole life of winning a gold medal in the 400 meter race. And I looked that up, that's one time around the track. So he had worked hard to get to the Olympics, and his dream was within his reach. Okay, he was in the semifinals and was running the race of his life. He could see the finish line just ahead as he rounded the final turn. Suddenly, he felt a sharp pain in the back of his leg, and he fell to the track and tore a muscle in his right leg. Oh. So as the medical attendants ran toward him, Derek struggled to get to his feet. He started to hop toward the finish line on one foot in an attempt to finish the race. Suddenly, a large man came out of the stands, pushed the security guards aside, pushed them away, and he ran to Derek's side. He got him. I wanted to show a video of this, but Sarah told me if the videos run a little bit too long and are copyrighted, Facebook and YouTube would, might run the risk of um, blocking it, so I will put a link to that on our Facebook page later today. But you see this picture here? Who do you think that man is who helped uh, Derek Redman um, out when he's down? His father? Are you looking at my notes? No, <laughs> you are absolutely right. So his father come out, that was Jim Redman, Derek's father. And Derek, he, he said to his son, you know, you don't have to do this. Yes, I do, Derek said. Well then, his father said, we're going to finish this together. And they did. They stayed in Derek's lane all the way to the end. Now, now at first, the crowd watched in silence, and then they rose to their feet and cheered, and some even wept. Now, Derek Redmond, he obviously didn't win a gold medal or any kind of a medal for this, but he walked away with the incredible memory of a loving father who, when he saw his son in pain, left his seat in the stands to help him finish the race. So that's what our Bible lesson is about today. It teaches us that life is like a race that has been set before us. We may struggle and face obstacles, we all do, but we have a great crowd of witnesses who are cheering us on. I think everybody here could be part of our witnesses cheering us on. Let's cheer them out. There you go. Yeah. You know, we have a heavenly Father who loves us and will help us when the pain is too great. We have a Savior who left his place in heaven and came down to earth to show us how to run the race. If we keep our eyes on him, how can we help but finish the race? We may not finish first, but we will finish the race the right way. So let's pray. Dear Jesus, sometimes life is difficult. Help us to keep our eyes on you and to run the race that is before us. In Jesus' name we pray and all the God's children say, Amen. Amen. And we have our... This actually goes good with the theme today, too. Luke 137, our memory verse, for nothing will be impossible with God. I like when it goes like the two of these lessons instead of just the one. That's fine. Okay, good. And you guys take a seat. Thank you.